Hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about uh, fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. FOMO, F-O-M-O. -O. Uh, in case you are just joining us on this channel, please uh, hit the like button for the video and click the subscribe uh, button below the video. Uh, thank you. We are talking about fear of missing out. Uh, this is an emotion uh, that is responsible for late trade entries. Uh, fear of m missing out uh, is triggered by the urge to enter uh, into a trade that is already late. Uh, you know, in trading, uh, price moves uh, very fast at some point and most of the time it moves slowly uh, so most uh, of the people affected by uh, fear of missing out entered towards the last part of the time when price moves very fast okay instead of entering at the beginning of the uh, impulsive uh, wave or the beginning of the uh, extension price extension uh, people tend to enter towards the end uh, of the uh, price move and by the time price starts to retrace or reverse uh, their account starts to record drawdown or stop loss gets gets it so let's look at uh, an illustration I have a diagram here showing price movement Price moves at point A to point B. All right, and then we have uh, point B forming a support. For of course, before price retraces to point C. And now, people that uh, falls into the category of this uh, emotional. Uh, uh, disadvantage which is the fear of missing out will enter at point C thinking there will be a, a reversal of price uh, but price eventually formed a support at B and then formed a resistance at C and traders get trapped buyers get trapped around here because they don't want to miss out in the action uh, in the buying action so and then price drops to point D of course due to fear of missing out traders buyers are trapped here of course sellers will enter at some sellers will enter at the breakout at this point uh, while some sellers will enter around here if they have the uh, calculation or the plan figured out they will enter early here and some will enter here. But some sellers will enter at point D. They will enter late at point D. Thinking price will continue downward. And of course we have like a retracement to point E. Of course the sellers that entered at point D. Due to fear of missing out from the uh, trends. Bearish trend. Of course they get trapped at point D while buyers ride up to point he of course some boy buyers will enter at point he thinking that we have a reversal uh working out but due to uh, the initial support turn initial support at point b now turned to resistance at point he the buyers at point he that entered late at point he uh, not looking at what's happening on the left side of the chart gets trapped at point E. Of course, the account will record some level of drawdown. Uh, of course, some, some account, some trades will get some stop loss heat somewhere around here. So, sellers will also enter at point, some sellers will enter early at point E. Uh, knowing fully well that there's a, uh, there's an initial support at point B, some sell, uh, sellers will enter at point E and then ride uh, with the price. And make some profit while buyers will be stuck around here and some will get panicked up to this point and close uh, the trade in great loss while some buyers will enter at point f 
Of course, some sellers will be looking at just like the way we had a breakout here. They will be looking at a breakout happening uh, around this region, which is a, a support uh, formed at point D, looking for a breakout so that they will have a uh, trend continuation. Of course, sellers that entered below point F will get trapped. Uh, this is most, most likely caused by fear of missing out. They don't want to miss out uh, in the action of the bearish trend that is being formed. Of course, they will get trapped at point F. Sellers will get trapped at point F, while buyers that already noted what happened on the left side of the chart, which is a, an obvious support at point D, will ride the new trade that has just formed. Of course, buyers, some buyers will enter early at point F and then ride the retracement or the reversal happenings. While because of fear of missing out uh, in action, sellers will get trapped at point F, of course. Now, at, point, at this point, buy, uh, some sellers uh, will also want to enter uh, knowing fully that, well that there is a support at point B, uh, there is a resistance at point E. Uh, of course, they want to enter here uh, to try and ride the uh, uh, reversal. Okay, but they will get trapped because, of course, an unexpected breakout will lead price to point G. Of course, because of fear of missing out in the. Uh, resistance, the sell from the resistance, uh, because of fear of missing out, they enter late here, uh, trying to sell uh, price. But of course, breakout leads to point G, and some buyers will enter at point G, knowing fully well that uh, point E resistance has been broken. They will enter to buy at point G, and of course, not looking at the left side as usual. that. There's an initial resistance uh, price dipped because of the previous resistance as point C. And then the buyers will get trapped at point G due to fear of missing out in the obvious uh, bullish trend formation. Of course, in as much as price has broken the previous resistance, uh, we have higher high. Uh, feel, oh, we have an obvious bullish trend formation and enter at point G. Uh, due to fear of missing out in action, and then of course we have a retracement. Some stop loss will get hit somewhere around here. But of course, for the buyers, luckily enough, uh, price meets the uh, support and then starts to go up. Of course, sellers will like, oh, we have a retracement, it's gonna go down, it's gonna go down. You know, the way the argument is, the buyers will say it's gonna go up, sellers will say it's gonna go down. Some traders will join the bearish trend around there, thinking that price will go down. And then at point H, you have an initial resistance there, turn to support. Uh, price eventually goes up. Okay, so sellers will get trapped at point H. Sellers will get trapped at point H, and then buyers will come in here and then ride uh, the uh, con trend continuation. Of course, some, sell some sellers will also bank on uh, the resistance at point G, thinking price uh, will go down and they will have a double top. But of course, price continues up to point I. So we have fear of missing out, playing out here uh, on the part of the buyers. And this made buyers enter late. Of course, price goes towards point D. Fear of missing out in the sell, in the obvious. Uh, bearish trend makes sellers enter at point D. Of course, price goes up. Uh, fear of missing out, of course, make the buyers enter trade here. And instead of going up, price dipped. Fear of missing out, of course, will make uh, some sellers uh, to enter at point F and price, you know, ra uh, rose up to this point. Fear of missing out, uh, I want to enter early. I don't want to miss out in action. Enter sellers to enter here, and then price continues up. Fear of missing out also affects uh, the buyers at point G, and price dipped. Fear of missing out affects uh, the sellers at point H, and price rises. 
fair raising out price deep, uh, price rises affecting the sellers at this point, and then price gets to point I. So, what are the things you have to look out for to avoid fear of missing out? Some of the things you look out for is support. What's happening on the left? Is there any support on the left? Uh, do we have resistance on the left side of the chart? Uh, what kind of candle formation do we have on the left side of the chart? Is it the bullish uh, engulfing? Is it a pin bar? You have to look at all those uh, factors. Then what's the news saying? Do we have a news release in the next five minutes? Uh, when was the news released? Was it released an hour ago? Uh, you have to look at that. And that also affects price action of course you have to look at price action uh on the chart okay and then you have to look at the higher time frame what's happening on the higher time frame uh, of the chart of that particular currency pair those are the things you have to look out for to avoid fear of missing out so fear of missing out has blown so many accounts and fear of missing out uh say no to fear of missing out avoid fear of missing out you have to discipline yourself as the price really moved far do i really need to enter i hope i'm not entering late those are the questions you ask yourself so that you don't end up blowing your account all right so till i come your way next time it's bye for now